How do I create class level components in React? What they are? Welcome to Coding Locker, guys. This is Chandra Shwariani, and this is the part fifth of learning React JS with Scratch. So, one update which I always provide that I'm focusing only on a practical solution. I'm keeping two priorities that I should finish this uh, playlist in the last time. So, you do not, guys, need to invest uh, 20 hours, 25 hours in order to you know learn the React JS. At the same time, I may I always uh, I want to actually make sure that I cover most of the things of the React JS. So, here practically we will create the class level component. Also, we will see what is state. This is a special property. How we can make use of this state? How we manipulate or update the state, and how to handle the events in the class level components. So, from the previous part, you can already see that uh, here is my window. We have uh, created. We are actually resuming the previous from the previous part. We have I already added one component, the function level component that was the employee one. Now we are we going to focus on the function level uh, class level component. One thing, if you remember from my first part uh, where we configured Visual Studio, I have shown you that if you go and install this ext, uh, sorry, extensions, that would help you in generating the components with the shortcuts. Now we will make use of this thing. So let's suppose, uh, let's create a dummy file, maybe call it test.js and let's create a test component. So you have to type rcc. And press enter you can see that our test level class level component named test is automatically created so now we can you know make use of this and what we will want to do we want to make this uh, app component which is a type of function one right now which was created by default when we created react application we will try to make uh, convert this in a class level so at first copy the entire line and replace export default class and name it test uh, replace it with app second it says uh, we need to import the component yes that is the second thing you always make sure that you have the component as well next second difference is this there is a one method called render and after that it returns something so at first wrap entire thing with this render inside that render method and press ctrl kd for the formatting sake now you can see we have sorry let me control chat or maybe i can do this like this okay so you can see now we have this app as a class level component why we create class level components what is the difference of uh, between function level and the class level we will see in the upcoming videos but right now i want to make use of the state and state is possible in the class level component as of now so i will i want to use the state that's why i'm going to i'm converting this a class level we have some error here let's see what we have we have this random method okay we do not require this export default app also maybe you can uh, make use of this syntax as well but uh, with the with the updated version now we can export the class directly from here as well so let's get rid of this code and press ctrl s so let it compile and we do not maybe require the test.js file now just save it and close it and let's close this as well focus to employ this is a simple uh, component we have created that is compiling let's come back to the browser uh, we have still any error because it is compiling now we should see yeah we have everything working fine with the class level so we have seen how to create the class level component next i want to make use of the state so state is a special sort of property and to make use uh, of state just before the render method you can create a state this is an object which can have multiple objects so let's suppose i want to create a employee object which is a type of an array and this array again uh, has some objects one is the name abc and the next parameter is age maybe uh, not the age we will we are going for the experience so let's say we have three years of experience or two years then next we have x y z this has three years of experience. So we have created a state. Now, how I can make use of this state? Let's try to, uh, you know, make use of this state here. Although this won't be a best practice, we will modify this. But as of now, just to understand how we use like this, this dot state dot. So this dot state dot employee. And the employee is the zero dot name, right? Now next, we want to display the age as well. 
so we will write this and there is another employee called x y z and the one so what i have done instead of the hard coded value now we are passing this value from the state one let it compile and after we will see in the browser two elements of our employee so let's wait for some time i think it is still compiling okay it's done we should see output now at any moment there is no error but i cannot see the output uh, just wait for a few more seconds here we are i just had to refresh this time so that we can see the change i think just because we have converted to uh, in a class level that happens really maybe i don't know okay so we have refreshed and we have the output now what is next how we can actually update the state right so we have seen uh, what is state how to use state we have seen that how do i update let's suppose if there is a button called xyz and on the click of that button i want to update the value of this so how would i do so let me create a button at first uh, here and let me close this and let me name it like update my state or update my employee name and this is my button now on this button i want to call a method so i'll create a method on click so see we have the c in caps that's the syntax you need to follow now here uh enter a uh, sorry start a curly braces here and then call this dot what this dot so this dot means you have to create a method so let's create a method like uh any method like update employee state now at last make sure you have this handler this is some sort of indication uh that you are you know uh creating a method so create a handler then again create an arrow function like this i always uh recommend that we should go for these es6 syntaxes now at first let me print console.log hi this is clipped right and to call this simply this dot update handler now you will notice one thing let me again at first let it compile and now if i click on the button i should see something in the console log we have the button now let me open my console log as well press f12 we have some warning let me get rid of this warning it is saying that logo we are not making use of this so we should not see this warning once again but one thing you you must have noticed that he, here we, we we can see hi this is clicked although i said i want to call this method on a button click but even on the page load it is getting called right if i refresh this you will see it will be called hi this is although i have not clicked this is because we have wrongly executed this method or called this method we should not call this using the uh, these brackets rather it should be directly now if i let it refresh first maybe let me refresh just to save the time it is compiling okay it's done now you will not see anything in the console log on the page load rather if i click on the button now you can see hi this is click twice thrice right so this is done how we actually call the methods now how do i update the state so you can say i can update like this dot state dot employee perfect you can update like this employee dot name so i am updating the first name of a uh, first object of the employee like a b c updated name right now let's see what happens again let it compile and i have my console log already in an open state let it compile see we have another warning do not mutate state directly so there is an, a warning which react gives you that you should not directly modify the state this is a special variable you could create a normal variable normal object and you can update the way you want to update but this state should not be updated like this there are special methods are 
excuse me already provided by react and through which only through which you should update the state even if you click on this see we are we are, we are clicking on this but nothing is happening the name is same so how do i actually update the name to update the name let me comment this at first the special method special method is this dot set state now open the braces then the curly braces what do you want to update i want to update this employee object so here we are abc let's say name update it and i want to update the xyz name as well so what i am doing i am resetting the value of employee this is this is how how we should do in react now again let it refresh we should not see the warning and maybe if i just clear this and refresh this yeah we do not have any warning now click on update my employee just focus on abc and xyz we should see updated value if everything is fine yes here we are right so this is how you can update the state important thing is that you need to rewrite the entire object but the only object which you want to update maybe uh, let's say uh, you have another another object or uh, variable here coding uh, locker maybe right so you do not need to uh, worry about this uh, what happens just a sec and not in the uh, state one like this in the state yeah this one so you you can have you know multiple objects and the methods so it is not necessary for you to update all all of these uh, everything should be fine you can update just the uh, this one so let's print maybe here uh, let's print here maybe this dot state dot author so this dot state and then we want we are using this author on a click of update we are just updating the up this employee so we want to make sure this this author value does not get lost right when we are updating that thing so let it compile it's done now see we have the coding locker the author name here now if i click on this update it should update but at the same time i do not want to lose the value of this as well so click here see this is not impacted right so this is how we create the uh, class level component in react how we make use of the state and uh, how we actually update these states and this is the method calling and the handling of event in the function levels this is again as i mentioned this is not the right way right we will uh, try to uh, format the code in upcoming videos for this uh, video that's all i have you guys have any query any doubt any any problem you can always text me you can always comment me instagram facebook linkedin anywhere which whichever you feels like uh, comfortable to you you can ping me i'll be happy to answer you thank you for being at coding locker see you in the next video have a nice day